This video demonstrates the operation of the Joel Tabletop Scanning Electron Microscope, brought to you by Sydney Microscopy and Microanalysis. Check on the screen that the filament light in the top right hand corner is off. Otherwise, press the icon to turn it off. Open the SEM chamber by clicking on the middle button to the left of the machine. You will see the screen state the specimen chamber is venting. Carefully pick up your sample using a pair of tweezers and place it into the sample holder. Secure the sample by gently tightening the hex socket, being careful not to over tighten. The sample is now ready to be placed in the SEM chamber. Place the sample onto the SEM stage and locate the side hex socket. You may need to rotate the stage using the top right dial in order to see it. Tighten the hex socket gently to secure the sample holder to the SEM stage. The locking ring may also need to be turned clockwise to secure it. To rotate the sample, you can turn the top right dial clockwise or anti-clockwise. To tilt the sample, you can turn the top left dial clockwise or anti-clockwise. The bottom right dial moves the sample left to right. The bottom left dial moves the sample forward and backwards. Once the sample has been positioned correctly, you can close the door. While closing the door, watch and make sure the sample height is lower than the chamber. Push firmly on the door until you hear the pump start and continue holding for five seconds until the vacuum holds the door closed. You will see a pop-up stating evacuation in progress. Wait for this to finish. Once the chamber has pumped down approximately 90 seconds, the filament will automatically turn on and will run through an auto calibration. Go to the scan settings options at the top right and make sure you have the correct settings for your sample. We recommend the averaging rate is set to 4, the live slow is set to slow 1 and the photo is set to slow 2. Go to the file save settings. Change the name of your sample. Change the sequence number to 1 and choose the save directory. This should be your RDS directory. Select TIFF as the file format. We recommend adding the micron marker to all images, but you may select and options in the Add SEM information. Click OK. You can change the accelerating voltage and detector settings here, if required. You will now see an image on the screen. This will likely be out of focus. Adjust the focus by selecting the focus button and using the course focus buttons, top and bottom, until the image looks clear. Find your sample under the beam using the X and Y stage movements on the microscope and the stage rotation. These buttons are for automatic modification. And these are for manual. Select the brightness button and adjust the brightness and contrast until you have the right dynamic range. You can also use the auto brightness button in yellow. Check if the filament is aligned by selecting the alignment button. Pressing the left and right buttons a few times to see if the image becomes brighter. If not, just leave it at the brightest point. Repeat the same for the up and down. Increase magnification using the scroll wheel on the mouse or selecting one of the magnification options. Keep increasing the magnification until the image looks blurry. 
adjust the focus using the coarse or fine focus buttons until the image looks as clear as possible. Repeat this process until you can't get the image any clearer. Now adjust the stigma to improve the image sharpness. Select the stigma button. Press the left or right buttons a few times until it becomes blurry. Then bring it back to its sharpest point by selecting the opposite direction. Do the same for the vertical direction. Repeat this process until the image is as clear as possible. Decrease the magnification by half, then select the slow option on the top to preview what your image will look like. If you're happy with the image, select photo. This will slowly scan the region to increase the signal. When it is finished, it will save an image with the sample name and the number one after it. As you save more images, this number will increase. Move to different areas or different samples using the X, Y and rotation knobs. At high magnifications, moving the sample to get the right position may be hard. You can perform small beam shifts by left clicking the image and dragging or by selecting the find shift button and clicking the corresponding directions or select C to bring it back to center. You can also rotate the image by selecting the rotation button and pressing rotation options. At the end of your session, turn the filament off by selecting the icon. Press the eject button to vent the chamber. Remove your samples by following the opposite of the loading procedure. Push firmly on the door until you hear the pump start and continue holding for 5 seconds until the vacuum holds the door closed. 